1% of the world's population lives in cities. And so architecture, planning and the development of cities affects us all. Um, and so what we're trying to do through the film festival is to engage stakeholders, citizens and built environment professionals in conversation. And that's why we've chosen the theme, design is universal, global, local. Mm -hmm. And it's really about feeling universal, thinking globally and acting locally in exploring the challenges and opportunities around our cities and built environment. And um, what makes this film festival unique? Well, this year we've decided to use the power of film as an ever increasingly accessible medium for people to bring to the fore these issues around sustainability, um, social issues, cultural matters, and, and of course in an economic downturn, um, discussing how this affects city development. And so we're bringing out two international filmmakers who will be introducing their films at the film festival. And we've also got a panel discussion um, that's happening in conjunction with the University of Johannesburg's Graduate School of Architecture. And we're bringing out um, architects from around Africa together with South African architects to discuss and debate issues around architecture and what makes it relevant. And this year's uh, film festival will see the largest number of African films being um, actually exhibited. Well this year for the first time we've created a call for entries to try and source content that uh, was new or that had not had a platform for being viewed in a public forum before. Mm. And I think it's been very useful for us and for the filmmakers um, from two points of view. Firstly, we've come into contact with content that otherwise we would never have known about. And secondly, it's allowed emerging young and student filmmakers to showcase their productions in a much more public way. And are there any films about Johannesburg in the menu? Yes, we have two films about Johannesburg. The first one is our opening film, which is City Futures, and that looks at um, encouraging stakeholders and citizens to view their neighbourhoods and the development of their neighbourhoods differently. And then we also have Fictions on Route City by a student um, filmmaker, Gao Mashejo. And then we have a number of films from around South Africa and from the rest of Africa. We've got the Vele Secondary School, which is set in the Limpopo province. We have Excuse Me While I Disappear, which is looking at the development of a new city in Angola. And then finally, The Regenerates, which looks at urban regeneration. So I'm just wondering, um, what, what makes these films unique? We're showing films from student filmmakers who are dealing with animation and explorative uh, ways of filmmaking and looking at architecture to things that look at quite serious subjects, um, a global um, capitalism, global economic development, mm. how the, the sort of rapid development of cities has affected the people who live there. So one of our flagship films, Ecumenopolis, looks at the development of, that took place in Istanbul very rapidly and how people, uh, generally poorer people, were displaced. Um, and then we've got films that look at urban sustainability and how buildings can start being designed to give back. Mm. And then we've got um, films that profile various architects. So I think the one that springs to mind the most is Puwin Rahman, um, The Rebel Optimist, which looks at a woman who was an activist and an architect in Karachi and her work with the urban poor and um, how in the end that, that cost her her life. Mm.